Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write Excel formula to retrieve the first value of each column. So here, let's take a look. Right here, I have a very uh, uh, simple table. In each column, I have some dummy data. So here in column B, I have 1 and 20. And in column C, I have different companies name. And in column D, I basically uh, insert different letters in different places. And I highlight the the value that I want to retrieve using the formula uh, with the uh, green color as the background. To retrieve the, the first value of uh, each column, you want to use, first of all use the match function. And your lookup value is going to be 2. And the next parameter is the lookup array. Uh, you want to highlight uh, the cell range that you want to uh, look out against. So in this case will be uh, B5 to B10. And don't lock the cell reference. And next, you want to uh, insert operator. So B5 to B10 is not equals to 0. And comma. So the comma is very important. Uh, I think in Excel, there's some sort of uh, algorithm or some engines behind the match function that is doing something very interesting. Uh, I don't have an explanation, but uh, if you don't insert the the comma, then the formula is not going to work. And close parenthesis. Now, if you enter this formula with a uh, control shift enter, since this is uh, a array formula, and enter, and that's going to return the row index uh, number of the first cell reference that uh, has a value. So if I drag this formula to the right, and I get different uh, row index number. So uh, with this one right here, I will get uh, result one, and that means uh, from your cell range, and the first row uh, location or position has a value. And same with this one, from your uh, cell range, it's the third row from your cell range that uh, the cell has a value, and so on. Now I have the row index of a cell that has a value. And the last thing we need to do is we need to use the index function to retrieve the, the corresponding uh, result. Now use the insert the index function. Now highlight the cell range and comma. And here I need to insert another close parenthesis. And since this is an array formula, enter the formula with control shift enter. And drag the formula to the right. And that gives you the first value of each column. 